So I uh, just wanted to make a video here about uh, how I make uh, some of the parts for the, uh, what do you want to call it, desktop deltic or deltag or whatever. Got the turbocharged one here. So uh, anyway, uh, this video is about how I make, uh, well, these uh, uh, exhaust manifolds and exhaust pipes. They're uh, fairly small parts. Uh, the exhaust pipe is uh, five millimeter or say three sixteenths inch diameter, so they're uh, they're pretty tiny. Uh, just to show you, here's my uh, mold for the engine block. So I just pour right into that, and then I I have to uh, sand down the the back surface, or use a Dremel with the right cutter and and cut it down. Here's the mold for the uh, turbocharger. Uh, so those are big molds and I just pour directly into them. I uh, have uh, two part uh, plastic chemicals here. I won't get into who makes them but uh, they seem to be good and reliable and uh, I uh, use these uh, uh, like snackables or something come in them uh, uh, so I just uh, save the containers, empty containers and use them. Pour the one into here and then I have uh, small syringes to uh, suck out uh, equal amounts. Uh, to do a manifold and the pipe I use uh, 0.75 milliliters of uh, each chemical and uh, same thing here, yeah, two chemicals uh, syringe here and I, I mark the one blue or yellow depending because you can't intermix them uh, or they, they'll harden up your syringes. Uh, then I also have another syringe here. I have a good selection of syringes around and no I don't use drugs. I use them for uh, plastic. I have some big ones, uh, 35 uh, milliliters. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Uh, the biggest uh, piece I've poured so far is 550 milliliters. That's the uh, the big deltic uh, engine block. So uh, I use uh, large syringes to, uh, to measure uh, uh, plastic out with. That's the only accurate way I've found of doing it. Uh, anyway, of course, when you measure 550, you end up using containers like this and, you know, even bigger. But anyway, to get back with this, so I uh, squirt equal amounts of the chemical into a mixing uh, uh, container, then just stir it with uh, toothpicks or uh, popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks, sorry, not toothpicks. Uh, and then, then I... Uh, take this syringe and suck it out of there into it and uh, then uh, what I do my mold accepts the end of the syringe and so basically this is kind of like injection molding I put the syringe in then I tip it up and I squeeze it has an air vent hole in the top small about 16th inch or a smaller diameter top you squeeze till some of the liquid starts to come out of there then you stop squeezing and you insert a little plug. Uh, I'll show you here. I got to break this off here. Here's the little plug. It's just a piece of uh, plastic, like say 16th inch or whatever diameter your uh, your hole is. So you insert into the hole, and you flip it up upside down, and you continue pressing with the syringe. And until it completely fills it up, and then after that, you have to to stand it up. You can't you can't tip the mold over anymore. So that's how I inject them. And then, uh, no, this isn't the world's largest pipe bomb here. Uh, don't get any ideas, anybody. Uh, what it is is a uh, pressure chamber. It's uh, this one's a three-inch uh, pipe. I have a larger one, a four-inch uh, plastic pipe uh, pressure chamber. So then I uh, have that in a vise, and I uh, pressurize the uh, the mold, put the molds in there and pressurize them to about 60 psi of compressed air. That seems to work good. What that does, it shrinks any bubbles you have. So uh, I'll just go ahead here and uh, take a manifold out of the mold here just to show you. I know this part, part isn't on video, but uh, so there it is there. And what I do, I basically kind of wiggle it out. See, it's got a split in the mold there. I just pry and 
press on the end and then pull pull the part out. You can see there the manifold just comes right out and there's one of my turbocharged deltic manifolds. The, uh, the pipe is a little bit harder. I use a piece of wire to plug the hole and I inject in the other end and I will just take it out here. That's a similar process. Yeah.